marriage mindset. The marriage mindset is one of those kinds of things that I believe that every person that's going to get married ought to have a marriage mindset. But we've had a question. Uh, I did a little segment on, you know, how to love someone that don't love you. And we got a question back. What do you do when you've done all you can do and there's nothing else to do? So what do you do when you're still uh, trying to work things out and nothing is working? I want to talk about, just for a few moments, when love won't work. There are, there are some times when, when love won't work. Now, I know this is hard to accept, and sometimes it's just hard to deal with, because you have to understand about love. Love is never one-sided, or no, it, it, it's, it's always a, a, a two-way street. What happens is, is, if you get one person who's loving someone, and there is no reception, nothing is coming back, it's like turning on a television and not having a feed. In other words, if nothing, if you'll get no signal, I don't care how much your television costs, you're not going to get a picture. You know, in other words, you know, what, what I'm saying is, there has to be a connection somewhere. And so many times, people do fall in love. You're in love and the other person is not in love. Uh, it's not going to work. Now, I need to talk about these three points and hopefully I'll answer the question as I talk about this. Because it can... Uh, be serious. You, you're there and the person, you keep trying to love the person. You love them and you love them and you love them. Nothing is happening. Nothing is going on. And what happens, the love becomes a mindset thing for you. In other words, you're in love and your mind's there, but the other person is not. It's like having a positive and a negative cable. I don't care what you do, they never come together. They're on opposite ends. Now you can... Uh, cry, say what you want to about east and west. If you know anything about directions, you know, east is not west and west is not east, like north and south. They are opposite of each other. Now, the first point I want to talk about when you say, well, I, I, I love this person and I, I really care for them, but I can't get them to come back my way. I can't get them to, to, to just receive what I'm giving out. Well, well the first thing is, is you can't make someone love you. If I'm saying anything to you, you can't make someone love you. And I know, I, I know you want to do that sometimes. You see a person, you like this person, and, and you want to do all that you can do. You want to make them love you. But you cannot make a person love you. I don't care what you say, how you try to do it. You can't make anyone love you. So now, what I, what, what I want to say is, because... You know, when we start doing some things and start acting it out and, and I, I'm doing everything I can, you know, and so because it, then it falls back on you and you're saying that, well, I'm doing everything and that's a nice person. But what you're trying to do, you're not allowing them to love you. You're trying to make them love you. And I guarantee you, it will not work. So that's the first thing, that you can't make someone love you. You can't lie for love. You can't lie for love. Some people try to lie their way through for love. You can't lie your way through. You know, when, when a person loves you and you love them, it's going to be a two-way. It's going to be a match. Sometimes we fall in love or we like a person so that we'll begin to lie for love. Oh, yeah, they're, they're great. They're going to come around. Have you heard that one? Oh, they're going to come around. You know, you know, just let me keep doing what I'm doing. They're they, they going to they, they gonna come around. They're they going to come around. You know, it's like trying to grow green grass in the winter when all the grass is dead. It's just not going to happen. They're going to come around. I don't care what you do. If the person doesn't like you or the person doesn't love you, I don't care what you do. It's not going to come around. So what you're doing, you're lying to yourself and you build up all this false hope and it's nothing but a lie that they're going to come in. Because what you're doing, you're opening the door for love and if they never come in, it's not going to happen. So be sure to be honest with yourself and don't lie for love. Be honest with yourself and be honest with the other person. Don't lie for love. Because if it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen. The last point I want to make is, is you know, Smothering the person will not make them love you. 
smothering the person will not make them love you. Because I call him 25 times a day. When he gets off of work, I'm there. When she gets off of work, I'm there. I go by the house. You know, I'm always leaving notes. I'm always trying to text. When you smother a person, the smothering is actually coming from you. You know, what happens then is most times that will turn the person against you or make them get further back from you. Because what you're trying to do, you're actually trying to force them into a cone of love. And that's not going, going to happen. It's a smothering effect. And, and I don't know anybody just want to be smothered. Give me some breathing room. You know, you don't have to call me 25 times a day. Uh, you don't have to come by my house before I leave the work. Be there after I get out to work. Yeah, if you your day off, you want to come by, sit out on my parking lot on my job. No, don't want that. Why? Well, it becomes a harassment. That's what it will become. So your smothering will become harassment to that person. And if that happens, then you get into maybe legal action, so many other things. But don't smother the person. And if you do those three things, and if those three things are existing, you know, the love connection will not happen. And there are cases that the love connection just does not work. Grow up, be big, put up your pants, <laughs> get over it. It's not going to happen. May God bless you and God keep you. Y'all be blessed. I've tried to make peace with the person I hate. I've tried to make peace with the person I hate. But it just doesn't work. I've prayed and I've prayed. But nothing puts aside the anger and hatred I have to this person. What do I do? I've watched your video on how to love someone you hate. And I am still in the same place. Well, one of the reasons that I believe that you're in the same place, the fight is actually not with the person. The fight is with you. The fight is not with the other person. The fight is with you. It's like forgiving someone. Once you forgive someone, you can't make the other person come back and say, well, I forgive you back. But your fulfillment and your obligation has been done. Once you've done everything and you've gone on your way to take care of the problem and it doesn't seem to get across to the other person, what you're doing, you're trying to say, I, I want to make this right for me, and I want to make this right for them. You can't make it right for the other person. In other words, if I keep saying, you know, please forgive me, please forgive me, please forgive me, and the other person don't forgive me, that's not on me. I, I've done my part. All I can do is open myself up and say, hey, I'm sorry, it was wrong, I've done everything, and I'm through with it. What you're doing, yeah, you're punishing yourself because of the other person. You know, you're hurting yourself because of the other person. And I'm not saying that you, you still don't have feelings for him. You want that person to forgive you. Certainly all of us want that. But that's really not your obligation. You, you've done your part. So I would say stop beating up yourself. Stop trying to live the other person's life. You know, get back in your lane. You're trying to switch lanes. Get back in your lane. You know, you got your blinker on, but you can't cross because there's a semi right next to you. And that semi is the other person. So stay in your lane. You've done what you to do. All I can do, I've asked for forgiveness. I went out of my way, and I'm done. Now, you can be done with it and not done with it. What you're in, you're in a position, I've said it. But it has not come back to me as far as my mental capacities are. 
So what you, you still have it in your mind. So the grip that you're holding is not, you, you've not physically said it, but mentally you have not let it go because you keep your eyes set on him and his action and what he's going to do. You know, it's, it, it's, it's like when I give at church, you know, I, I don't watch the preacher when I give my money. You know, when I give it, I give it to the Lord and I'm done with it. If the other person takes it wrong and do something wrong with it, that's not my obligation. What you're doing, you're trying to make the other person your obligation. If you've done it right, you've done the best you could, you've asked for forgiveness, clear your mind. So what it is, is that you're mentally holding this and you're mentally warring with yourself. So stop warring with yourself. Give it over to the master. You've done all you can do and go ahead and live your life. Forgive and live free. So is that, so is that the reason they're still holding on to that anger? And because yes. because with some people, you know, they can be so so hurt by somebody that they can attempt to make amends, but they can't get past their own, and they can't get past what was done to them to even get to the point of, I say I'm trying to make peace, but when I look at you, I'm still so angry. They can't get over themselves. You're fighting with your own self. You're fighting with your own, own conscience. You know, you can't. You can't. Uh, I always say. Shadow boxing. Shadow boxing is when you're looking on the side of the wall and there's a shadow and you keep trying and you get angry with your shadow, but it's actually you that you're fighting. So what you're doing, you're fighting with yourself. You're fighting this mental battle. That's the shadow. You, you're shadow boxing and you're angry at yourself. It's, you ever find out when you got your arms up like this and you're shadow boxing, as long as you're swinging and sweating, it's doing the same thing. But when you drop your guard and drop your arms, the shadow stops boxing because the shadow is you.